What's going on everyone? My name is Derek and today I'm going to be talking to you about replacing the cage on your rear derailleur. Why would you want to replace the cage on your rear derailleur? Well, there's two reasons I can think of. One, your derailleur cage might have been bent or twisted in a crash. Or two, you want to actually replace uh, a short cage with a longer cage so you can have a bigger cassette, like an 1130 or 1132. In my case, I had two derailleurs go bad in about a two week period. This one's off my time trial bike and it was just um, a small little uh, tweak inside the cage um, that was causing my derailleur to have some issues. Those issues were the chain was skipping over one of the uh, jockey wheels and the other one was when I was in the bigger cogs, the chain would actually fall between the jockey wheel and the cage. That's a big problem, just a big grinding. You can actually see uh, where the chain was starting to wear on it. And I, I messed with it. I even tried to bend it back in place and nothing was fixing it. It was really unfortunate because it was just a cage that was damaged. In the case of this DI2 derailleur though, I was involved in a crash. It took a really hard knock. I noticed that there were some problems with some mischiefs um, or really loud noises coming off just because I couldn't get it tuned perfectly. The biggest problem I was having though was when I got into the biggest cassette at the time was a 28. I noticed there was a noise coming off and it sounded to me like my chain was hitting one of my spokes. That means your rear derailleur is gonna get sucked into your rear wheel and that can cause so much more damage than just a broken derailleur. With a little bit more investigation and consulting with my bike shop, we determined that the cage of this derailleur was bent the easiest way to tell if a derailleur has been bent is actually to line up the jockey wheels. Because that one's missing a jockey wheel, I'll actually show you on the one that came off my time trial bike. Basically, if you take the jockey wheels here and you draw an invisible line through them, they should it should be perfectly vertical, right? On this one, you can actually tell that this jockey wheel is a little bit too far to the left. And in the case of this uh, one that came off my road bike, it was dramatically off to the left. And so yes, the cage was bent and you can't really bend them back into place where it's not recommended. Fortunately, with the Shimano Ultegra rear derailleurs, the Mechanical and the DI2 have compatible cages, meaning I could take the cage off of Mechanical version and put it onto this DI2 one. Why would I do that? Shimano doesn't really have any stock of the inner and outer plates, which are the pieces you need to replace. I actually turned to Facebook, asked some friends in the local community if anyone had any 6800 derailleurs laying around that I could take the pieces off of. I had no luck. So my next best option was actually to buy a Mechanical uh, Ultegra derailleur and switch out the cages, but I had a problem. Yes, the cage on this derailleur was actually in fact bent, but it turned out that the body of my derailleur was actually bent. My bike shop told me that that's not very common. They've never seen the main body of a DI2 derailleur bend. They've only ever seen them break. When you're dealing with a bent body on a derailleur, there's pretty much no fixing it. There's no way to get the extra parts from Shimano, so you just gotta throw it away. So I just bought a long cage version of this DI2 derailleur. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to replace the cage on your derailleur. First step, of course, is to remove the derailleur from your bike. With this Shimano derailleur, you need a five millimeter Allen key to remove it. It'll be obvious where it attaches the bike. It's just this hole right here. Turn left to loosen and right to tighten. With mechanical derailleurs, like this one, it's always gonna be in this compressed position. With DI2 versions, if you have that, you can actually just give it a little quick little pull apart, comes apart and goes back together really easily. Just don't pinch your fingers. It's easier when it's expanded like this. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the jockey wheels in the outer plate. As you can see, it's, this derailleur has already had one of the jockey wheels taken off, so I'll show you with the other one. We're actually gonna take a three millimeter Allen key, insert it into the bolt here, give it a quick twist, comes right off. And then also with the other one, quick little loosen, bolt comes out, and the cage is free. Now we have this inner plate, but we're not gonna unscrew it yet. We actually wanna go to this little pin that screws in. Basically, there's a spring in this derailleur that, bring, that provides the tension to your chain. You, you can see the movement here. We're just gonna kinda pry that open. It's a little difficult, but I find this is kinda the easiest way to hold it. You can take a screwdriver, it's just a normal Phillips. Give it a quick couple left turns. Out comes the, actually here's the pin right here. And don't just let go because it will fly in. You just want to let it softly. There you go. So you can see that springs in there on both ways, but that catch pin is gone. We're going to take that five millimeter Allen key that we use to take the derailleur off the bike, insert it here and just t turn left. And as you pull apart, you don't have to worry about anything shooting out, at least in these Shimano ones. It's just a spring and this inner plate with a little axle on it. 
So now we're just left with the main body of the derailleur. As I mentioned before, this one is actually damaged beyond repair, and so I had to throw this away. But if your derailleur's still good, don't worry about that. We're just replacing the cage. Now you're gonna take the new cage, whether it's just the longer version or one that's not damaged, and we're gonna insert it back in. You'll take note that there's this little, uh, little arm sticking off the, the spring. Basically, inside here you can't see, but it'll be really easy to see in person. There is a little hole. You're gonna insert that little arm into that hole. That just gives it something to grab against. Once that's in, we take that five millimeter Allen key, turn it right, you know, use some caution, make sure you're not cross-setting, but I find it's pretty hard to do that here. And give it a nice little tighten. Nothing too crazy, you don't wanna strip anything. Don't forget about this catch pin. So we're gonna put the derailleur like it was hanging on the bike. And you see that the cage is over here. We're gonna twist that back. That's the where the tension comes from. We're gonna take that pin and insert it right back into the hole right there. You can kind of see it right here. So putting this thing back on was a little bit of a tight fit for my fingers. I just put the bolt back on the end of my screwdriver, end it up, but be careful not to cross thread it. Couple turns, nice and tight again. Release, there we go. Now's the time to put the jockey wheels back on and this outer plate. It will be pretty obvious how this plate goes. First of all, you have these little arms right here. You want those facing the inner plate. Also, the bolt holes for the jockey wheels won't line up if you're doing it wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the bolts for the jockey wheels and I'll just start here. I just stick that on, take the jockey wheel, then put the outer plate and then tighten everything up. Be careful not to over tighten that bolt, otherwise the jockey wheel won't spin, but don't leave it so loose that your jockey wheel is wobbling inside the cage. Again, I don't have the jockey wheel on this, but we'll just put the bolt on anyway. Give it a quick tighten. And that's it everyone, you just replaced the cage on your rear derailleur. Maybe you put on a longer one, or maybe you just replaced a damaged cage. Either way, this is ready to go back on the bike. All you'll need is your five millimeter Allen key, attach this bolt to the derailleur hanger, give it a couple right turns, you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions or requests on repairs on your road bike, if I'm able to, I'll do the best I can to help you out. Other than that, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.